Check out this ESP32 design from superfan Fetty Mockney. This is for a solar charge controller. Now this design is basically a buck converter and a current sensor as well as some charging circuits. And you can see here on page two, the main reason that we don't want to use ESP32 in every single design. Over 50% of the pins are unused. But to be fair, I could see a reason to include Wi-Fi on a module like this because, hey, why not make your solar charge controller Wi-Fi accessible? Here on page one, I see that you added a fuse for overcurrent protection, but I don't see any overvoltage or reverse polarity protection. I would consider adding a charge collector surge protection circuit because that's also going to provide reverse polarity protection. I'll talk about this in another video. Here inside your Gerbers, I see a few things that are really common in ESP32 designs. First, you put thermal attach on all of these ground pads in the center of the module. I also see that you have some thermal relief attach on some of your other SMD pads here on the top layer. Next, when we zoom out, you did put these connectors right next to the antenna region on your top layer. And you really shouldn't do that because putting those large connectors nearby the antenna region can alter the radiation pattern from the antenna and it can impact your range. Next, on your top layer with the silk mask and silk screen, I can see where the silk mask is just starting to creep onto some of your solder mask openings. And trust me, manufacturers that I've used will always complain about that and they will ask you to fix it before they produce your board. Want to have me review your ESP32 design? Send me a message on LinkedIn.